If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, well, you already know we've got a thing for the Excellence brand. One of our all-time favorites, Excellence Riviera Cancun. In fact, at least two members of our crew have made it their go-to vacation spot for the past eight years. Sometimes we roll in with the whole squad and other times it's just a couple of us. But no matter the group size, ERC always makes the shortlist. It consistently delivers a top-notch experience year after year. We've just returned from our 2024 trip and it's been a couple of years since we've done a full review of this resort. A lot has changed, so today we're breaking it all down, what's new, what's still great and what you need to know before booking your next trip to ERC. From the moment you pull up to the entrance, you'll notice ERC's stunning design. It's got this chic hacienda vibe that really leans into the beauty of its natural surroundings. Think marble, stone, and wood, all wrapped in calming, earthy tones. Recently, the lobby got a bit of a facelift with new furniture, plus the addition of Magna and the club lounge. Now, if you're expecting a party-centric and mega-themed resort, a la Hard Rock or Planet Hollywood, well, this isn't it. But if you're after luxury and relaxation, you are in just the right place. From the moment you arrive, you're greeted with a cool towel and some bubbly, because vacation mode should start immediately, right? The bellhops whisk away your bags and you'll be escorted to check-in. Depending on your reservation, you'll either check in at the regular desk, or if you've splurged on the Platinum Club, you'll head to the exclusive lounge just around the corner. Pro tip, download the Excellence Resort app before you arrive. It's where you'll find menus, schedules, activities, and you can even pre-check in. I'll show it to you here. Does it always save time? Well, sometimes, but it's worth a shot. Once at check-in, they'll snap a copy of your passport, put a hold on your credit card in case you want to charge something to your room, and that's it. No wristbands here, you'll get a room key card, sign a few papers, and you're ready to roll. If your room isn't quite ready yet, no worries. You're welcome to hit the pool or grab a drink and officially start vacationing. One nice touch at ERC is that unlike some resorts, and I'm looking directly at you, Hyatt, you're not charged extra to hang out after checkout. If your flight home is later in the day, you're good. I can't believe some resorts actually charge you for a day pass if you have a late flight, but just know Excellence does not. The check-in and lounge area itself is spacious with comfy seating. It's the perfect spot to enjoy a quiet coffee from Aroma, conveniently located right up here, and get a little reading or work done, if you're into that kind of thing on vacation. Just off of the lobby down the grand staircase is the Martini Bar. My favorite spot on the resort, and this is usually where most people grab a cocktail before dinner. Excellence Riviera Cancun is well laid out and surprisingly easy to navigate, even for the directionally challenged like me. So if I can find my way around, I'm confident you'll have no trouble either. The resort is divided into buildings surrounding the spa pool, with a few more located near the other pools. Now speaking of which, ERC boasts six pools in total. So let's talk about the pools. The main pool is huge. And in and around the main pool is where most of the daytime activities take place. Everything from aqua zumba to cooking classes. So if you ever want to dance awkwardly in the water while learning Spanish, this might be your moment. There's also a separate club pool between building seven and eight, which comes with its own club bar and private beach area. A quick note about the pool temperatures. The club pool is heated in winter. But don't get your hopes up for early season warmth, it's usually not turned on soon enough for me. The other pools rely on ambient temperatures, which means they can be chilly around Christmas, though the summer months have the opposite issue with pools often feeling like a warm bath. I've been told that the Handicap Accessible Pool is also heated, but I've never actually experienced it being turned on. ERC has a large beachfront spanning the entire width of the resort. A few years ago, they installed a seaweed barrier and they do a stellar job keeping the beach clear. There's plenty of beachfront fun to be had too. Volleyball, paddle boards, Hobie cats, you name it. Finding a chair on the beach, not usually a problem. 
They've got tons, many of which are brand new, and there are plenty of Palapas for shade. The main pool though, very different story. Finding a chair there is a little bit like participating in an Olympic sport. Guests tend to rise at the crack of dawn to claim their spot, and it can feel like a ruthless competition. I, for one, am not a fan of that. So after breakfast, we usually head to the beach to set up our home base for the day, then we hit the main pool whenever we feel like taking a dip. If you're all about poolside action, then be prepared to claim your spot early. Chair game is fierce around the main pool. For a more serene poolside experience, check out the spa pool. Designed kind of like a lazy river, minus the current, it's always peaceful there, and you rarely struggle to find a chair. Bonus, there's a smoothie bar right next to it. This smoothie bar called Revive used to be alcohol free, but now they have some cocktails there as well as all your favorite juices. Another quiet option is the pool near building six. It's low key, has great bar service and offers plenty of lounge chairs. And it's perfect if you're not into the bustling pool activities. One rule to remember, ERC doesn't allow guests to bring their own pool floats but they do provide plenty to share. Assuming, of course, everyone plays nice and leaves them in the pool when they're done. I'm pretty sure we were all taught to share in kindergarten. There's always that one person who insists on hoarding a pool float under their towel or sneaking it back to their swim up terrace. Now seriously, what is so difficult about sharing the pool floats? We're all on vacation here. On to more zen things, let's talk about the Miele Spa. They offer a wide range of treatments and over the years we've had some amazing massages. Now that said, the prices have gone up quite a bit so we don't indulge very often anymore. But if you're up for splurge, it's worth it. Prices are on the app so have a look before you book in order to avoid sticker shock. There's also a fully equipped gym, which is handy if you want to burn off some of those calories from the resort's many dining options or just get in a few extra steps. It's clean and well maintained with all of the equipment you need for a solid workout. And if you've checked out but you have a late flight, you can even grab a quick shower in the gym before heading to the airport. We've used the resort hospitality suite in the past, but honestly the gym shower is often quicker and easier. Pro tip, if you have a late flight home and need somewhere to stash your valuables, there are lockers in the gym change room. We find the locker gives us peace of mind to keep our passport and wallet safe while we enjoy our last afternoon at the resort. The resort grounds are nothing short of stunning. You'll find beautifully manicured gardens with unique metal sculptures scattered throughout adding an artistic flair to the ambiance. The gardeners here work tirelessly to keep everything looking immaculate. I highly recommend grabbing a morning coffee and taking a peaceful stroll around the resort. It's the perfect way to start your day of relaxation and fun. So let's dive into the accommodations at Excellence Riviera Cancun. All of the rooms here are considered suites, so even the entry level ones give you a little bit of extra space. The junior suites with either spa or pool view are a great starting point, but from there, the options only get better. I will cover all of the room categories in a separate video because trust me, going through every option here would make this video way too long. But to give you a general idea, every suite comes with a comfortable king bed, a sitting area, and a spacious balcony or terrace. The bathrooms are only semi-private. Semi. -private. semi featuring a shower and a separate tub, and the mini bar is refreshed daily, plus there's an in-suite bar with a nice selection of red and white wine, tequila, vodka, and rum. If you're staying in a club level room, expect the same spirits but elevated brands like Appleton Estates rather than Captain Morgan. Now for those hoping to get two double beds, here's the catch. Most suites come with a king bed, a few offer doubles, but you can't specifically reserve them, so it's a bit of a gamble. If you're into specialty suites, you'll be happy to know there are swim-up suites, rooftop terrace suites, 
and a variety of unique options depending on your budget. When it comes to food, ERC does not disappoint. The resort has 10 restaurants, actually 11 counting Magna the Club restaurant, each with chefs who are experts in their specific culinary regions. You'll find everything from Mexican and Italian to French, Indian, Japanese, even a seafood restaurant specializing in lobster. There's also a steakhouse, a breakfast buffet, and a laid back lunch spot right on the beach. In addition to the restaurants, there's a food truck, a wood-fired pizza oven by the beach, and a coffee shop. One of the best things about dining at Excellence Riviera Cancun is the attention to vegetarians. Many resorts slap a little green leaf symbol on their menus and call it a day, but ERC goes above and beyond by offering separate vegetarian menus at their restaurants. I will be making a dedicated video covering each restaurant menu and even showcasing some of the dishes. I did a deep dive into this a few years ago, but since then the menus have changed and some restaurants have been renovated, so stay tuned for the updated version. The central hub of the resort is the plaza area, where you will find the martini bar inside the main building, the prelude bar just outside of the center of the plaza, as well as the theater and theater bar tucked to the side. The theater is currently being renovated and the shows are happening in the plaza, but I expect they will be done that reno really soon. In the evening, this area is where the magic happens. Whether you're into live shows or you just want to sip cocktails while soaking up the resort's atmosphere, the plaza is usually where it's going on at night. We've stayed at nearly every Excellence property with two more stays booked for 2025, and I can confidently say that service is where this brand really shines. It is the little touches that make a big difference from never being hit with a timeshare sales pitch to the seamless service at the pool and the beach, the staff here are quick, attentive, some even remember your name and your favorite drink. Restaurant service is detail-oriented and I'm happy to report that the bartenders have returned to their former cocktail glory. If you saw our 2022 video, you know the drinks had slipped a bit after COVID, but this trip, top notch. Managers are often seen walking around, checking in with guests, making sure that everything is going smoothly. If you need help or anything, just ask. The staff are friendly and they're eager to help you if they can. Let's talk about some pros and cons. Start with the pros. Spacious suites. Even the entry level rooms are impressive, so don't feel like you're missing out if you stick with the basics. There's plenty of restaurants. With 10 dining options, there's no risk of food boredom and the quality is high across the board. No reservations needed. You can dine whenever the mood strikes. You might need to wait for a table, but with so many great cocktails available, that's really not a hardship. Beach maintenance. Compared to the other resorts in the area, ERC does an exceptional job keeping the beach free of seaweed. Fantastic service. Unlike some resorts where staff seem more interested in their cell phones, Excellence employees are almost always on the ball. There are some cons though. Number one is the cost. Excellence has been pricing itself higher and higher recently, making it less accessible for some travelers. We love the brand, but definitely we crunch the numbers before booking. At their price point, there is a lot to choose from, so I expect high levels. Bathroom privacy in the rooms. The semi-private bathrooms are fine for couples, well, most couples, but if you're traveling with family or friends, things can get awkward. 
Trust me, our kids shared a room one trip, and they learned way too much about each other. Limited bed options. No guarantees of two double beds, and there are no rollaway beds here either. You can request two doubles, but it is not a sure thing, so keep that in mind. The pools are not heated. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. When you're paying top dollar to escape the snow, you expect a climate-controlled pool, especially in the winter months. Goodness knows you are paying for it. Gift shop prices? Well, those are ridiculously high. Sunscreen costs three times as much as it does back home. Same for Benadryl or Tylenol, so I usually just check a bag instead of trying to buy essentials at the resort. If resort shops were more reasonably priced, I think they'd make a fortune, but hey, what do I know? I'm not running the shop, but I certainly don't shop there anymore. On this trip, we booked a normal spa view room, so we didn't have club level. We did notice that some of the higher end alcohol was now only offered at the martini bar, where on previous trips, it was at most of the bars. A deal breaker? No, not at all. It's just a change that we noticed. Now on a final note of the pros and cons, they've relaxed the dining dress code a bit, allowing men to wear shorts at more of the restaurants. This could be a pro or a con, totally depends on how you feel about it. Despite the cons, the pros far outweigh them, and that's why we keep coming back. We price shop like crazy, but in the end, we still choose Excellence Riviera Cancun over and over again. It is an adults-only, all-inclusive luxury resort best suited for couples, groups of friends, or families with adult children. You'll find plenty of restaurants, comfortable rooms, a beautiful beachfront, fun pools, and of course, stellar service. It is a great resort for those with mobility issues. There are elevators and ramps taking you pretty much anywhere that you might want to go. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to support us in this type of content and it's completely free to you. We always pay for our own trips, no one recognizes us, and the resorts don't know that we're making videos. We believe this is the only way to bring you an authentic and unbiased review. We know how hard you work to save for a vacation and we want to make sure that you're happy with their choice. So if we can share our experience with you, we will. I'm currently working on more videos, including a deep dive into the restaurants and sweet options, so stay tuned. A huge thank you to Jordan for nailing all of the filming on this trip, and to Chanel for keeping his margarita at the perfect vacation cold. The dream team strikes again. Have a great day, do something fun for yourself, and we'll be back next week with more from New Travel Escapes. Bye!